Christopher Velez is a senior at the Pinellas County Center for the Arts at Gibbs High School. In June, he will be honored at the 2018 Scholastic Art and Writing Awards gathering at New York City's Carnegie Hall. He is to be presented with a gold key for his art portfolio, one of just eight students to receive the award in the nation, and the only Florida artist to win this honor. In addition, Christopher will be awarded a silver medal for his mixed media work. Basically, what I call it is miniatures. There's a bunch of other different names for it, dioramas, other things like that. But uh, it's sort of mixed media, sculptural pieces that I do, sort of a mix between 3D art and 2D art because I can't make up my mind on which one to do. Um, but uh, they're, they're, they're small buildings that I have found that were once big buildings, but I wanted to shrink down because I thought they looked nice. I just love old buildings and seeing like uh, different textures and different materials that are on them and uh, the weathering that happens to old buildings over time. And so I, I, all those things sort of drew me to wanting to create a body of work that expressed all, all of my interests in these things. He's versatile in everything that he does. So um, in terms of art, some people are leaning towards drawing or painting or sculpture, one or the other, but he seems to be able to always capture what it needs in every media. Um, and that doesn't happen to all the students. So um, that was kind of the first impression that I had with Chris. Creating the pieces isn't that hard. It, it might look like it is, but it's not. It's very like, it's just like creating a building. And creating a building is just, it, there's a set of rules that you follow. And if you follow those, then you have a building. So um, creating them is not that hard. The hardest part is coming up with the ideas of them and the story behind them. Usually when I'm looking at buildings, I'm not looking at the, the big picture. I'm looking at the tiny little details, like maybe there's a crack in the window right there that sort of just so happens to have a really nice composition and it makes it look nice. Or maybe there's a splotch of paint that was accidentally dropped on the building that, that um, goes well together with like the door handle or something like that. Um, looking at all those things and um, seeing like just what nature can do to a building after a while, it, it, that's what I'm really looking at when I'm seeing buildings. For our program, it's a little bit different than, an, um, because it's a magnet arts program. Um, the teachers here really act to, as like mentors um, because the skill set, we do, we do kind of like bring them back and, and get the foundation going. Um, but a lot, of, a lot of it afterwards, starting 11th and 12th grade, it's really about kind of seeking what, what is it that they want to say with their art and what is the best way to kind of lead a path for them to make that happen. A lot of the buildings that I create are from the real world, but I, I also pull from just like my imagination. Like the first tester piece that I did, I just like thought of what I thought a building would look like and then I just created it. Um, so uh, a lot of my inspiration does come from the real world, but a lot of it also comes from just what's in my head. Following his graduation this spring, Chris heads for New York City and an award ceremony at the world famous Carnegie Hall. Uh, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, I'm very excited to go to New York and I'm also very excited for the $10,000 uh, prize that, or scholarship really that I, I'm getting. Um, but uh, I, I'm sort of selfish in the way that I really love the exposure and I really love the recognition and stuff. Um, just because of how hard I worked on all these pieces and sort of this at the end of the year is sort of the payoff. So um, I'm excited about New York and I'm excited about the award, but I'm also very excited about the exposure. After the big moment in the Big Apple, it's back to his education. And where will that take him? Hopefully to college to further my education and then to a career in the arts. Um, right now I'm looking towards a graphic design major and hopefully having some sort of design career in the future. I was more leaning towards architectural stuff at the beginning of the school year thing, um, but right now I'm leaning more towards design. So hopefully after 
college, after all of my education is over, I can go into a design uh, field or something like that. Art is a very, very difficult career um, to go into, um, not just in visual arts, but in performance and everything. And it takes a drive for one to succeed. Um, and I'm very happy that, that colleges, and I'm sure after that, are able to recognize the kind of passion um, and the drive that Chris has. Um, he has it in a very um, humble way. I think that goes very far. Um, instead of kind of like this flashy, ostentatious way. And um, I have very high hopes for him.